Pacific Northwest. Okay. We started off in Oregon and worked our way up to Washington, Idaho, and Montana. You know, you hear a lot about the timber over here. You hear a lot about the prairie over here, and, and we start moving out. Next thing you know, you meet some great dudes up in the Pacific Northwest that say, hey, why don't you come up here and hunt? The road trip, you know, you got the drive, you got the anticipation. We're going to meet a guy we never met before. Matt taking us out to that destination where we was going to duck hunt. Everything was frozen over. and. To hear his plan of, of what we're going to have to do to get the holes open, we got to get the boats out early. We got to go out there and bust the ice, make a hole for the ducks. And it was a trip of a lifetime, I can tell you that. I mean, everything's done different. People call different. They set up their decoys a little different. And they have different ideals and opinions. They got different kind of barbecue and hot sauce up there too. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> You can only kill six ducks at the end of the day, but you took this big long haul, this trip to get where you need to go, you, you're gonna build some relationships. What better opportunity than to go take these guys up on just some incredible invitations. <laughs> trip, the anticipation is growing as we move to the next spot. The geography changes a little bit, and those guys, dude, that place, I had no idea. It's unbelievable. All right, boys, glad you came up to Eagle Lake to come down and show you something that we think is pretty special. A little different place most people don't know about this eastern Washington and the, the mallards that, that stay here. And, but if you look out here, this looks like sagebrush and, and there wouldn't be any ducks. They got big lakes. There's three big lakes that run down through these canyons and Pacific Flyway is a, a hidden treasure and this Columbia Basin is the premier area for greenheads and, and mallard. You guys like greenheads, you're gonna like it. <laughs> others enjoying hunting and shooting uh, as, as we do here for finding birds. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yes. Pretty amazing place. Uh, and I, I hunted a lot in California, hunted other places, and this is truly the, the number of mallards that just blow your mind. You think we hunt hard, those guys actually hunt really hard. And even after the kill, it's a job even getting the duck back to, to where you're at. Because if you shoot the duck in the water flow, you gotta run and go get to your boat. You gotta run down the river about two miles because the water current is so fast. Get the bird and come back. When we pulled in the boat ramp, everything was great the first time. But on the way out, Worse and worse, and I remember looking at the news thinking, ah, oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, we're we finna dive right in this thing. And looking ahead to tomorrow, snow really beginning to spread up across the... But it's a duck trip, dude. You can't just sit at the house. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you, you're prepared for it. You got the clothes for it. You know, I mean, literally that cold front had come through. The weather there, like I said, it was just, it was, it was a different element that we're not used to. Five degrees, snow. We didn't, we didn't get on the ducks there. The, the ducks had left, it was so cold. He's like, okay. hey, we see you later, we're going south. Travel to places like Washington and Oregon and Idaho, Montana, and see the different scenery. It's very overwhelming. You know, these these are guys you're you're gonna yeah you're gonna continue to, to talk to and and hopefully we get an opportunity like you were talking earlier. You know, we'll bring them down to Texas. I couldn't tell them why except for the exact reasons we're talking about why that's so memorable for us. It's not actually you know shooting birds or geese or, or whatever you know. I mean, obviously, we like chasing green. It's that journey we were talking about, and the relationships you build along the way that, that will last, last forever. And hunting is, is really the vehicle that has provided that for us. Everybody needs to take a duck trip. Heather, you need to take a duck trip. Only if it's with you guys. <laughs>